Hello, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to my channel. This is Tamur and this is my channel, The Cloud Security Guy. And today I want to discuss about uh, cybersecurity certifications. You know, they, like uh, everybody wants to get certified, right? But uh, cybersecurity certifications focusing on experienced people who are non-technical. And this is a topic which a lot of people reach out to me. You know, people who are in their 40s or their 50s and either they've been laid off unfortunately, or they have uh, like they have decided to change career. They feel that their career is not taking them where they want, right? They want to have a career which has more future, more career prospects. But so they choose cybersecurity, but uh, they don't want to start from scratch, right? They do not have the time to go back and learn firewalls or learn scripting or learn the basics of cybersecurity. You know, they don't, they can't start from scratch. They're too far along in their career. And people who have decades of experience in like uh, finance or risk management or operations or management, and they want to move into cybersecurity. So what about them, right? They don't want to just disregard. They don't want to. They don't want to. Don't want to restart as a SOC L1 SOC or a cybersecurity engineer. They want to use the skills they already have. So to these people, I always advise them instead of starting from scratch, I they should map their experience onto existing cybersecurity roles that align with their knowledge, right? And one of the best ways to do this is to choose the right certification, right? And if you follow me here on YouTube or on Substack or Medium, you know, I write a lot about certifications, right? Always the good and the bad of them that uh, you shouldn't go overboard in certifications, but at the same time, they are very, very valuable also, right? So what do we do? But the challenge is finding the right one which maps to your uh, knowledge. And there are a few certifications that I always recommend for non-technical people and especially people who are very, very experienced. And these certifications, they do not require to you to be a technical wizard, right? And you don't need to be a hacker or no scripting or Python and all these sort of things. Uh, but they're very well respected within the industry and they give you like a good career jump. So let's talk about them uh, one by one. And before we move ahead, please do like and subscribe to my channel. I talk on a weekly basis about things like uh, cloud security, AI, and general cybersecurity career advice. So uh, let's move on. The first uh, certification I want to talk about and I recommend to non-technical experienced people is the CISA, the Certified Information Systems Auditor. It is a very, very well-respected popular certification in cybersecurity and governance. It focuses on audit control, uh, audit control and governance, right? And especially if you're coming from a finance or an auditing background, this is an ideal certification as it maps onto your existing skills of controls, risk management, governance, right? And the skills you get from CISA, it can help you move into IT auditing or IT governance or IT risk management. And so if you already know financial auditing, right? This certification will help you understand how IT systems work and the technical aspects of auditing IT systems. It makes it a natural step for those who, who are coming from finance and they want to move into cybersecurity. And this is this certification is also great for roles that have like if you want to move into compliance and you know uh, uh, risk management those sort of things. So compliance officers and finance professionals who are looking to move into cybersecurity they would benefit greatly from this certification. So the first one I recommended is the CISA if you're coming from a finance background or an operations background, right? Okay. Uh, the second one I would recommend is the C risk, which is Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control. If you're coming from an operations or a risk management background, the Certified in Risk and Information Systems Control is a great choice. This focuses, like the name says, on IT risk management. And it's a must for anybody who is managing, like, going to, like who's interested in risk and governance and IT risk and governance, right? Risk, it's like a universal concept, whether you're coming from, uh, like, whether you're in operations and finance or whether you're in cybersecurity. But the thing with C-Risk is, it will take your existing knowledge and then map it into the world of cybersecurity. It will teach you how to manage risks associated with IT systems. So if you especially, if you want to move into a managerial role and you want to make sure that your, your company's IT risk management processes are optimized and they are working well. So serious certified professionals, they are responsible for building like a, a, a risk aware culture, implement risk based strategies. It's a very good certification, well respected. So again, this certification is great for people who are coming from a risk or a managerial background, and they're looking for management level roles in like, uh, uh, you know, IT risk management, cybersecurity risk management, business continuity, disaster recovery, those sort of things, 
Okay. So the second one was C risk. The third one was uh, CISM, which is Certified Information Security Manager. So this one is very, very useful for people who are coming from a management or a risk background. The CISM, it gives you a great way to move directly move into managerial role. It is designed for those people who are going to be overseeing information security systems prog like programs, like high level, right? And they're not, it's not for those who are implementing technical hands-on security. And this is especially good for people I've seen they are already in managerial roles, right? They are in operational risk and they want to move into cyber security. So this certification has helped them move from that because it shows management that they have like the skills. I know people who are working in finance and uh, risk management and they wanted to move into a managerial role. They saw a vacancy within their company. They, do, they did the CISM and with that, they were able to move into it. It's great for people, mid-level or senior managers who want to deepen their understanding of information security governance and, you know, uh, program development, how to run a program. It teaches you how to build a framework. And this is another great cert for landing management level roles in cybersecurity that will leverage your existing experience. Now, I've recommended three of them. Why? Why, are, why do these certifications work? So I want to be very honest and practical with you. The job market is not very good right now across the board, whether in you're in America or the UK, or UAE, wherever you are, the job market is tough right now. People need job, like people, experienced people, they need jobs ASAP. They do not have the time to start from scratch. So that's why I'm recommending these sort of certifications. They will help you get your foot in the door. And instead of waiting like six months and upskilling yourself, you can quickly do this certification and upskill like a, each of these certifications, they help use your existing knowledge of compliance, risk, operations, and, and they are more about building strategy, policy, and oversight instead of like making you understand hacking or firewall or intrusion detection systems, right? So this is why I've told you these certifications will open the door for you. But, and very, very important, I, I always give this disclaimer, certifications, they will help you or will help open the door for you but they're only part of the solution. You need to get a little bit hands-on, understand cyber security, you know, understand how systems work. And these certifications also have experience requirements. Like most of the time you need five or three years experience and you can use your existing experience. There are many, many ways of doing about it, but just remember practical experience also matters. So you need to get a little bit hands-on. Don't be completely non-technical because that will harm you a little bit in your career. So building that foundation you can you can uh, get mentors, people. I mentor a lot of people to get into cybersecurity or you can shadow existing people and th that will complement your certification and give you that practical hands-on experience you need. So that sums it up, guys. I, uh, the CISA, CRISC and CISM, they are a gateway if you are an experienced sort of professional in your 40s or 50s and you want to move into cybersecurity, but you're not sure how to do it and you do not move, want to move from scratch. So these certifications will give you a solid understanding of how to secure information systems. But remember, always we are just the beginning, and cyber security is a continually like a continuous journey of learning and upskilling yourself. So I hope this talk was useful to you. Thank you very much. Do subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.